Hello all. Welcome to session 20 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I'm going to explain about variables and its types in csharp. So let's get started. First of all, what are variables? Variables are nothing but the names provided to a reserved memory location. So let me prove this. For that, I'll open this Visual Studio ID. Here first I'll create a variable, guys. I'll show you how to create a variable in csharp. So how to create a variable in csharp? So here I have to write a statement like this. I'll explain about this statement in detail in this session and upcoming sessions. But for now, let's blindly write this statement. Int a is equal to nine. I'll write. Okay. What does this statement means? What does this statement mean? I'll explain that. Okay. When you create this statement in C sharp, what will happen is internally, let's assume that this is a computer memory. Okay. Let's assume this is a computer memory. I'll break this computer memory into multiple memory slots. I'll break this entire computer memory into multiple memory slots and when you create a variable in C sharp okay like this okay like this int a is equal to 9 like this when you create a variable in C sharp what will happen in this computer memory I'm going to explain. So here is a computer memory which is divided into multiple slots okay more slots will be there but for now as part of representation I'm just uh, creating only few slots. So here when you create a variable like this okay in C sharp programming you're writing a statement like this int a is equal to 9. So what happens once you create this uh, statement here you see this data that is 9 will be stored in any of this memory slots okay this value 9 will be stored in any of these slots we don't know in which slot it will store randomly i'll say let's say the 9 is stored here assume that the 9 is stored in this slot now this particular memory slot will have memory address in the form of like this okay it will be like this uh, other memory slot will have 0 1 1 1 or 1 1 0 2 like that okay 0 1 1 like that some some memory slot address will be there. So can we remember this memory slot address, but for each and every memory slot, this kind of unique number will be there in ones and zeros that we cannot remember. So that's the reason guys, we have to give a name to this memory slot. So using what we can give a name for this memory slot using the with the help of the variable. So here in this example, int a is equal to nine, a is nothing but the variable, okay, which is a name that is given to this memory slot. So the moment you say int a is equal to 9, 9 will be stored in one memory slot and this 9 can be accessed with the help of a name known as a. a is a variable name. Here a is nothing but the variable. a is a variable which is a name given to this memory slot because we cannot remember this kind of 1101 kind of address members, okay, memory address numbers. So we have to give some name that is nothing but the variable name. Using the variable name, we can access the value that is stored in the memory slots, okay. So this is what is a variable, guys. Now let's get, get back here. So let's uh, revisit this line. Variable is nothing but a name provided to a reserved memory location. To this particular reserved memory location, this e variable is nothing but the name which is given to the reserved memory location. Fine. So as I already explained, int a is equal to 9, right? Here I have written a statement like int a is equal to 9. Okay. So I will do one thing. Okay. So I will I will explain more about this statement now. Okay. Int a is equal to 9 if I write. In this statement, there are different things, guys. Okay. In this statement, there are different things. What are the different things? You see, here in the beginning, there is something known as int. What is this int? Int is nothing but a data type. What is data type? I'm going to explain in the upcoming sessions. Okay. What is data type? I'm going to explain clearly in the upcoming sessions. For now, int is a data type here. Okay. In this statement, there's something like a. What is this a? A is nothing but it's a variable. Now there is equal symbol. Okay, here this symbol is nothing but the operator, one of the operators in C sharp. Okay, this is a operator, assignment operator. So here, single statement is having multiple things like uh, int is a data type, a is a variable name, equal is a operator symbol. It's nothing but an operator. What about this nine? We are calling this nine as value or data or something, but uh, we can technically call that as a literal. Okay, literal. Nine is a literal, a is a variable, equal is a operator, and int is a data type. So in the upcoming sessions, in the upcoming sessions, you can see I'll be covering all these topics one by one. Okay. So in this session, I'm covering the variable, right? In this current session, when I'm explaining this, uh, this different things in the single statement, I'm co already covering the variable in this session. Okay. That uh, the current topic is all about variables and its types in C sharp. Okay. This part is being covered. Now in the next sessions, I'm going to cover data types. You see data types are covered here. This particular topic will be covered in the next, uh, next few sessions data types after data types are covered. I'll be covering the operators. You see operators topic will be covered 
and also after that i'll be covering the literals okay so in the upcoming sessions the remaining three things like these data types operators and literals will be covered for now we are only looking at this variable okay which is nothing but the name given to the reserved memory location where this particular literal is stored okay here in the computer memory in the one of the memory slot the literal is stored that the data or data or value is stored uh, but we cannot remember this uh, memory address so that's the reason we have to name it okay so variable is nothing but the name given to this reserved memory location so tomorrow if you have to access this data 9 from this memory location we have to use a variable without variable we cannot access this value okay we can since we cannot access with the help of the memory address we are going to use a name for accessing this data from this memory address okay so that is what is variable guys in simple terms okay this is what is variable so now you understood what is data type uh, i'll explain more about data type and uh, operator and literals uh, but at a high level you understood right in this particular statement what is the data type what is uh, equal symbol what is this nine okay equal symbol is operator nine is the literal int is the data type a is a variable to, to that extent it's fine guys i'll explain more about this statement in the upcoming sessions okay fine now guys there are different types of variables okay so there are different types of variables what are the different types of variables there are local variables and global variables variables can be categorized into at this moment at this point of time when i'm explaining about variables variables can be categorized into local variables and global variables what are local variables the variables which are created inside the methods okay if you are creating a variable inside a method that that variable is known as a local variable for example here this is a main method okay this this method this is a main method right inside the main method we are we are creating this variable if you are creating or declaring this variable inside the main method this variable is known as here variable a is known as what it's a local variable okay variable a is nothing but the local variable the variables which are created inside the methods are known as local variables then what about the global variables the variables which are created outside the methods and directly under the class for example this is a class guys under the class directly okay so outside the method and directly under the class if i'm going to create a variable for example here how to create a variable outside uh, directly under the class here the variable that i'm going to create is nothing but the class member right like the main method is a class member similarly variable that is created under the class is also a class member here inside the method if you are creating the variable that is a local variable okay but if i am creating a variable directly under the class that will become the class member and it is a global variable so how to clear create the class uh, members for now the way, same way i have created the main method i am going to create the class variables here okay so i'll put public here the, the way i put public for the main method i'll put public here the way i put static before the main method i'll put static here what is public what is static i'll cover later okay for now create the global variables like this okay so say void you don't have to say void here okay that's wrong okay so public is fine static is fine after that data type you have to mention in, in place of the void you have to give the data type okay so what is the data type here here int is there here also i'll give int let's say okay int int let's say experience okay like this i'll create a variable this is a variable name okay global variables uh, should be in upper upper camel case okay so here you can give my experience or something i'll i'll explain more about this for now let's uh, write like this okay so let's write like a uh, something like b or something okay this is fine public static int b i'll give some value here let's give some value like 10 okay so this is a local variable the variable which is created inside the method is called as a local variable the variable which is okay th this part is optional guys you can create you can give or don't create doesn't matter you can directly say int b is equal to 10 also but uh, but uh, okay it's a global variable guys okay it's a global variable let's say global variable fine this is a global variable this is a local variable now guys i'll create one more method here public wide uh, i'll say sample one like this one method uh, another method apart from the main method i'll create public wide sample one method i'm creating so here here guys there is one thing what is that thing is here b is a global variable whereas a is a local variable okay b is a global variable where a is a local variable so so here we have to understand about the scope of the variables guys okay Lo the scope of the local variables is okay the scope of the local variables is to the is up to the methods only in which they are created okay so that means i can access this variable within the method only okay if i have to access this variable a just see here so if i have to access this variable a i can access inside the main main method inside the main method main method is starting here main method is end, ending here so this local variable can be accessed inside the main method but can i access this variable a outside the main method 
in another method can I access? Let's try that. You will not be able to access. You see, you'll get an error. You see, this variable A is a local variable whose scope or life is up to this main method only. You cannot access this variable outside this main method. You see, if you are trying to access this variable outside the main method, that is an another method, you are already getting an error. What about this uh, variable B? Can you access this variable B outside the so throughout this class, you can access guys. Okay, the, the variable B is a global variable. That means it can be accessed anywhere inside this class. Okay, so here the variable B can be accessed here. You see, throughout the class, you can access. There is no error. The scope of this variable B is throughout this class, whereas the scope of the variable A is up to this main method only. So this is what is local and global variables. Okay, local and global variables guys. Variable create variables created inside the methods are local variables. Variables created outside the methods and directly under the classes. Okay, the same variables here int a is equal to nine. Similarly, if you create a variable outside the class, okay, out, uh, outside the methods and directly under the class, these are global variables. Okay, nothing much. And scope of the local variables is up to the method in which they are created. Okay, the local variable is local to the method only, whereas global variable is throughout the class you can access. Okay, throughout the class in any method you can access the global variable. So these are the types of the variables we have guys local and global and uh, this is what is the difference. Okay, so hope guys you got an idea what exactly are variables in C sharp now and the types of variables in C sharp that is local and global. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.